Okay, hi, well, the blog's back. I'm sorry for all those that have missed it for the last few weeks. Uh, I think it's been a couple of months now, but I was moving house and uh, a little boy trying to move house and trying to fish matches and do everything else that you try to do. Didn't have time for the blog. Didn't want to give you guys a half-hearted uh, attitude towards my fishing. So I thought, have a little break and then uh, hopefully you'll be ready to watch a few of my blogs again. So just to prove that I'm not starting on a complete brilliant week I'm actually doing the blog and it's about 10 past 4 on a Sunday afternoon so you're thinking well surely I should be fishing well I was I was at Lindome Lakes for the match this qualifier and I had my first early bar for the year uh, I drew 44 on um, uh, bonsai every peg was in that's not good <laughs> so uh, I caught five carp early and then I didn't have a bite for two hours and I thought well rather than uh, rather than sit here and uh, not get anything I'll come home and get some stuff ready I've got a real great trip planned I'm off to Ireland for the classic festival um, I've never been to Ireland in uh, in May before I've, uh, it's 10 years since I've even been to Ireland fishing oh, that's a lie I went on the home international last year but to fish a, a festival so I absolutely can't wait and I've been preparing for that. So I'll keep you up to date with that while I'm away. But I want to catch up on a little bit of my fishing from this week as well. So after today's uh, failure, it actually comes on the back of a, a quite a bit of recent success, if I'm being honest. Um, I fished a Feeder Masters qualifier last weekend and was third in the match. Uh, that was really enjoyable. Uh, and then I went to Fishermania on Wednesday at Makings. Now... Um, Makings is a, is an interesting place, but I, I really feel for fisheries at the moment, to be honest, because we've never had weather like this in my memory in uh, in April or late April time. I mean, last week was six, seven degrees during the day. I mean, at one point, my, my car was reading like minus one, minus two in the day, which is, is frighteningly cold. Um, and all these shallow lakes have really suffered as a result. I mean, Lindo is probably the best fishery I know, and... Uh, it's had uh, really, really hard. And for me to pack up there, that, that's really, really rare. So I think the fact that there's no fish feeding, I was one of a lot of anglers today that packed up. So when I went to Makings on Wednesday, I wasn't expecting it to be great, to be honest. I mean, I drew Reptile Peg 4, I think. And uh, Peg 4 on Reptile is... Uh, uh, all the lakes are really shallow. I mean, somebody said to me, oh, try fishing in the deep water to start. Flipping heck, I had three foot anywhere I put my, my plummet. So I didn't really know where to start or where to go. So I thought, well, I'll just have a, a dob around with some bread, which I, those of you who watch the blog know that I'm really not a big fan of. I, I really do despise dobbing and mugging and things like that. But, you know, if you, you have to do it to compete at times, and that's what I've had to do. Uh, I try to avoid matches where that's the case, but I, I tried to find the fish. I, I fed a little bit of bait here and there, and eventually I started to get a few bites towards an island and uh, an aerator over to my right. And with an hour and three quarters to go, I was thinking, well, I've got three fish. I've had a few indications there. It's snowing now, snowing, April 27th, ridiculous. And... Um, I thought I'd chuck my bomb there and I'd just be patient and see if I'd get a few pulls, maybe win the section for the end. So it went around a couple of times, then I lost one and I thought, well, there's a few fish here. And just by being patient, really accurate casting was important. I was casting um, really close to the island, literally within, I don't know, say a foot. A, a, when you've got a, a foot hook length as well, that's really tricky to do. Um, and I got I got a series of bites towards the end. I finished with 13 carp for £63. And I was actually fourth in the match, which when you consider there's over 130 anglers on the match, it's a nice result. Um, £94 won the match. I'm going to apologise. I always like to know the name of the angler that won the match. Um, it was a, a Polish angler, and I, I, couldn't, I can't remember his name. It's very bad. So I, I, I apologise to you, and I hope you... Uh, I wish you all the luck in the final it was actually quite exciting because the talk was that 60 odd pound might win and when i had 63 and i was actually the best weight for a long way and then i saw steve openshaw weigh 65 and i was really disappointed i thought oh i'm going to be second by two pound that could add my chance so as much as uh, i'm sure steve's a nice guy uh, i was relieved to hear there was a 94 because it just meant that I hadn't uh, lost by a couple of pounds. There was also a 67 on that other lake as well. So I'm very close. I should have really been second in the match. 
felt that I could have made this move towards this island a bit earlier, perhaps maybe half an hour earlier, I'd have snuck two or three more fish and claimed that second place. But a good result, fourth, you know, nice pickup, so you can't complain. And then Saturday we were on the first team match of the... Uh, it's not the first team match, I suppose. The next team match that after our win on the Gloucester Canal for Barnsley Blacks. Um, I absolutely love fishing for Dren and Barnsley Blacks. They are... I just I just love the guys. I think the atmosphere is great. We always want to win, but we always have a good time. Um, you know, we're always happy. We're happy if, if somebody else wins, then so be it. But we're also always trying our best to win ourselves. And the commercial national at Lindo had a bit of extra spice added because Neil Grant from the owner had been baiting us a little bit, wanting us to, to have a bet with him. And one of our members, Mick Viles, had a quite a extensive bet with him. And... Uh, uh, it was going to be quite exciting to see what happened uh, at the weekend. Obviously, Mick was hoping we were all going to win. Uh, certainly beat the Lindholm team, but it's, it, it made for interesting. Uh, you know, it made for an interesting match. There's some great teams in the event. We've actually won the event twice and come second in the three years it's been running. So we've got a really, really good record in the event. And when we drew our pegs at the weekend. It was one of those, at first I thought it wasn't that great, and then when I, I had a little look around and I saw the numbers, I thought, yeah, we've got some good pegs there, we've got some pegs that we can win this event off. Which, I'll tell you now in team matches, even if you are a good team and you're fishing well, you've got to have the pegs in order to give you a chance of winning, and that's definitely what we had in this match. Uh, we had some, some up and down pegs. And some pegs that we thought could win. So it was just a case of seeing if we could get some results. For me, I was on Benny's. I fished that lake a couple of times and had two really nice results. So I was pleased to be on Benny's because I felt from a team point of view, I could probably do enough to get some good team points, which is what all I care about. It was a frustrating day, really. Caught some fish short on pellets on the bottom. Um, just using a little PB into float. Really dotted down, that's really important, honestly, because the bites from those little fish, they're really, really tiny bites. So, dotted it right down, striking a lot of bites. And uh, I put together a nice run of fish. Um, then it went crap in the middle, and I went on the feeder, and it it was it was rubbish, really. I, I, John Allerton was next to me, great angler John. He was catching some on the feeder, and um, I, I just couldn't catch on it. And I think everybody who was sort of could see us fishing thought John probably had the better of me um, but I definitely had had a better start than him so I felt that maybe I was level pegging and then towards the end of the match I've caught a few more fish back on the pole again I really either shouldn't have bothered with a feeder or I need to look at my feeder set up on there I think when you're fishing for such small little f1 such as that that I had I took my 10 foot mini carp rods which are great rods I use them all the time for everything. Maybe for those tiny F ones, I should have used the old F one minis. That would have been, that would have been a nice rod for that because I did lose probably a third of the fish I hooked. So when we weighed in, I genuinely didn't think I had uh, what I had. It was one of those nice times. You get there every now and again. Most of the times, you know roughly what you got. But I actually thought I had similar to John, uh, but I had a little bit more. I had twenty two kilos. 100 I think or 22 kilos 120 or something like that 22 kilos uh, and then there was a 22 kilos 800 to win my 28 peg section so I was second in my 28 peg section which for the team that's a great result top five in the 28 peg section is a fantastic result for your team in my eyes so I was really pleased with that elsewhere we'd had some great performances Andy Geldart had won his section Nick Speed had been second in his section um Every, elsewhere, we avoided a blowout in all the way through. I think nearly all of us were in the top 10. Maybe one or two were just outside. So a really nice result. So we knew it was close, though. Trentman, they pushed us close before, and they really, really pushed us close this time. Uh, I really like the guys at Trentman. Uh, I get on really well with them. We're having a bit of banter there, waiting for the results. Um, and it was, it, you know, in the end, we ended up winning by one point from Trentman. So it was fantastic. We were absolutely over moon. I felt a little bit for the Trentman guys. I, I genuinely would have been happy to see them win because I do like them. But obviously I want my team to win. So uh, it was great to win over the moon. Um, three out of four. That's really sensational. And I just think, you know, we had one or two of probably what people consider of our best anglers 
uh, not at the event as well. So it just shows the strength we've got in the squad. Some great angles, made some great signings, and uh, and I think that um, the future's bright, definitely. So absolutely over the moon. That's why I got up this morning with so much enthusiasm already for uh, match this at Lindo, but it wasn't quite to be. Anyway, look, I hope that's kept you up to date with what's going on. The blog is now back. Okay, I will do my best to update it every week like I did for the last 60 weeks beforehand. So cut me a little bit of slack, guys, who were getting on me back from a two-month break. But we're back now, um, and I'll keep you up to date with what's going on. I'm Ireland next weekend, and what I'll try to do is see if there's some Wi-Fi and upload a little bit of uh, stuff for you there. So I hope you guys catch up with me then. All right, catch you later. Thanks. Bye.